This is the guitar lesson for Ricky Nelson's Waitman School, particularly from the Pulp Fiction scene when they're walking into Jackrabbit Slims. All from GuitarMadeEasy.com. Try saying that ten, ten times fast. So make sure your guitar is in standard E tuning. Take your capo, put it on the first fret like so. And this is kind of a 50s uh, strumming pattern right here, okay? So what we're doing is we're holding a chord and then we're muting that chord by taking the tension off the strings. So if I play through an E, hear that right there? I take the tension off the strings now, and that's what my E is going to sound like. I'm not playing these, this B and this E string, and I'm not playing this low E. I'm just focusing on the A, the D, and the G string. Okay, so it should go. See the difference? All right, now here's when I incorporate my right hand in the strumming pattern, okay? So it goes. Slow it down for you so you can see it. Now speed it up. This is the verse, this is the majority of the song actually. It's just on this E chord, okay? All right, so what I was doing there the whole time I was on E, okay, and then it goes, it goes. So it goes to A, and then to B, and then I go back into the E, A, B thing again. This time I strum all the way through it, so I go, and this is where it goes, one, two, buckle my shoe, hit, and then it goes to A, to B, and then that's, this part right here is where I strum all the way through it, so I go. And then I go into the little, um, it's almost like an interlude, uh, and it's basically, Ricky Nelson is just jamming on this E chord, and he's taking his pinky and putting it on the third fret E string, and then taking it off, and then putting it on the second string, or I'm sorry, second fret. This is the E string on the third fret, takes it off, plays it open, second fret E string, takes it off, plays it open. So when you strum along with the entire chord and do that at the same time, this is what it sounds like. That third time in there, what I did was this, I went. All right, so third fret E string, open third fret E, open E string, second fret, E string, open E string, and then I go down to this B string on the second fret, and then I do the, the open E string, and I do that again, so it's. But the whole time I'm not plucking individual strings, I'm strumming all the way through the chord, so I'm going. So that's the entire chord progression for the song, okay? It just basically stays on E, and then at various points it goes to A, and then to C. I'm sorry, not C, B. So A, B. Okay, and then uh, one more thing I want to show you is the little ouch of the song. At the very end it goes... And that's in Pulp Fiction. That's how he ends the song. So all I'm doing there is uh, right after that B, I go third fret A string, uh, fourth fret A string, and then first fret D string, and then I end on the E note on the uh, second fret D string, okay? 
strumming strum through E. And that's it, okay? So really not bad. Just remember, get the rhythm down, get the strumming pattern down, watch that part of the video a couple times, and then all it is is your E, your A, and your B chord. Not bad. Great scene from a movie. That's one of my favorite scenes from uh, any of those movies. So uh, definitely, if you haven't seen it, uh, go check it out. And make sure to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. If you haven't already, go download my top secret guitar tips absolutely free from mysecretguitartips.com. And if you'd like me to teach you how to play guitar, please go to teachmeguitar.guitarmadeeasy.com and I will show you how. All right, guys, I will see you in the next guitar lesson. Thanks.